A KGW News viewer first contacted us after she flipped through her pamphlet. She wanted to know why four out of five arguments for Measure 105, the measure that would repeal Oregon's status as a sanctuary state, were furnished by one person, Cynthia Kendall. Kendall and her group Stop Oregon Sanctuaries submitted five arguments in total for their ballot measure, while opposing groups submitted 41. Stop Oregon Sanctuaries and any other group wishing to make a statement on a measure was required to submit 500 signatures or pay $1,200 per statement. Ken Dahl and Stop Oregon Sanctuaries paid for all five with some help from the authors. We just wanted to make sure that our message in the voters pamphlet covered the issues that we thought were the most important about the measure. Meanwhile, there were several dozen arguments filed against Measure 105. Andrea Williams, with no on 105, says many organizations donated to the campaign so they could get a statement in there. And other groups, they actually collected signatures from U.S. citizens in order to be placed in the voter pamphlet. That gets to every single household in the state. So it's not just registered voters, it's every single household, 1.8 million households. Elections Director Stephen Trout told us anyone can submit an argument in the voter's pamphlet and they can say anything they want. We don't review them for the content or for the truthfulness or, uh, or any of those things. Okay, so we can verify anyone can get into the voters pamphlet and say pretty much anything they want as long as they pay or get signatures. The statements are not fact checked for accuracy.